Hello everyone, so in this week's video, we are going to be taking down all the winter decorations around my Silver Star Stables because where I live, it is definitely spring and so it's so spring outside and I look at my stable and I'm like, mm, we need to we need to kind of get into a spring mood around the barn here as well. And also, you've probably noticed my staple is a complete disaster. I feel really bad because the last few weeks I've kind of neglected my Schleich ponies. So we're going to give them some love and we're going to tidy up the barn. I haven't been filming in this barn because it kind of looks like this. So we need to fix that. So I've made a lovely hot chocolate. We're not going to spill that. And the first thing we need to do is gather up all the Christmas de decorations and put them away. I grabbed a box to store everything in and some sandwich bags to put all the little items in, like the little candy canes and little bows. As you can see, I've kind of started gathering things up. Undecorating the Christmas tree. You could say I went a little crazy with the bows back in December. some reason the barn just seems so refreshed without those I really don't know why but now we're gonna move on to the I don't know, decorations on the outside Well, it's definitely lots of tape on these things, but they're off. And now we're gonna get the reefs off, and I think I have to cut the string on these. My sample is just so messy, look at all this stuff. And we also need to be putting away our Mr. and Mrs. Claus costumes until next year. Another costume I need to take off are these Wonderland Christmas Fairy costumes. And I kind of made these so they're gonna be hard to take off. So I'm gonna do my best to take them off so I can still use them again. And free at last of being a fairy. Ta -da. And these costumes are still in perfect condition to use next year. So I'll just put them in the same bag with the other costumes. I just love these so much. They're so sparkly. And if no one knew yet, I have a thing for sparkles. Part of the reason why I haven't put Christmas away because everything's so pretty and sparkly. As far as the lights on the fence go, I think I'm gonna leave them up with the spring grass and stuff. I think they'll look cute because they're not just Christmassy, they're kind of just like fairy lights. Bye bye Christmas trees. Would you look at this, everything fits perfectly. Goodbye Christmas. I am actually excited though because the stable looks so refreshed. I don't know. So now we've got to clear off all the horses and the whole entire stable basically so we can put down grass instead of snow. Barn, 
and now we're going to make the snow melt away. the grass we've got some little rolling hills down here but these kinks will come out as it lays out because it's been folded for months and months so if anyone's wondering this grass I believe my dad bought it for me from Home Depot but you just buy it from the hardware store it and I believe it's called indoor outdoor carpeting I'm gonna take this opportunity of having everything ripped apart to take my barn and tip it upside down over top of garbage can just because I like these shavings these little paper shavings but so much dust has settled in this barn, I just need to tip it upside down. And also there's like sawdust mixed with these shavings and I just, it's so funny I'm calling these shavings and not paper. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go dump it out just because it's kind of yicky. As you can see, much better. And since it's spring cleaning, I'm going to wipe the roof of the barn down because it's quite dusty. And we're also gonna wipe out the stalls and stuff. just been playing with a new setup because I've definitely got bored of the old one because we've had it all winter long so I was kind of thinking I really am liking how this looks where these paddocks kind of connect these barns but they're like separated anyway I'm kind of liking how that's looking and I think on this end I'm gonna put a really large paddock honestly I didn't really realize how dusty everything is <laughs> the wash rack I think I'm gonna tuck it into this corner that's kind of the only spot I have for it. Our truck and horse trailer definitely needs a good wiping down. So here is the basic setup I'm going with. So we have this little barn, paddock, paddock, this barn, and then another paddock and large paddock and then a parking area for our truck and Teresa's car and also the wash rack. So I really like it. I think it's going to be good set up for spring and it's definitely a little different than the winter one. So I like that. I got some girls out here in this large paddock and I'm also kind of dusting off the ponies a little bit too. There are so many accessories we need to bring in and put back around the stable. finally have our flower boxes out again and the people are finally back all right so now it's time to start tacking some ponies up Now we're going to get Wonder tacked up in a lovely pink set. And Jim has got some carrots for the horses. Open up the windows on the barn because it's such a lovely day.
So I'm happy with how the stable on the other table turned out. I'll give you guys the final overview in a moment, but first we're gonna quickly tidy this barn up because it's not looking too good as I showed you earlier on. So we're going to fix this. Oh, please. I got a stack of tack that I just need to find a spot for, and then we have Christmas tack that I should probably put away with the Christmas stuff. And several watches that do not tick. <laughs> what a weird thing to have in my Schleich barn. I just tidied up a little bit all the ponies I have on the windowsill and outside of the big barn. All right, so I'm gonna call this cleaned up. You know, this is not the most tidy looking. It's just a bunch of the Schleich jumps and a few other little things I have stacked up and then Harper and then I just put the tack I use a lot in the tack boxes. And over here I decided why not make it look like Samuel the veterinarian is showing everyone. He's giving a demonstration on how to properly put on a leg wrap. So <laughs> that's what's going on here. And then just all the horses are nicely in their stalls. And as I said earlier, I tidied up these ponies. But this is what I'm most excited about. So here's the final reveal of my spring stable. I'm so excited. I love this setup so much. And if you guys wanna see a complete like in detail barn tour, you can let me know on my Instagram. So I'll leave the information for that down below. But basically just leave me a comment on like my most recent post. I'll most likely see your comment that way. And just let me know if you wanna see a detailed barn tour because I can do one of those. But this is basically what my stable looks like. I love it so very much. And thank you guys so much for joining me as I set it up and did a little bit of spring cleaning. Maybe this inspired you, at least I hope it did. And I will see you in my next video, which should be a mail time. So I will see you then. I am super duper excited. I'll see you then. Bye guys.